What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I'm very excited for this video because today we have another sub gun. So this is the CZ Scorpion Evo 9mm carbine and this is actually another loaner from BFF Firearms so I want to thank them once again. If you're near Danville, Illinois, go check them out. They're great guys and I appreciate it when they loan me guns like this because it lets me make videos on stuff I don't have to buy. So this is a gun that I've wanted to try for quite a while and for whatever reason over these last couple years since I started making videos I haven't really bought or even shot very many sub guns or pistol caliber carbines and when I tried the Chris Vector the other day I fell in love with it and I realized these things are actually Actually pretty freaking awesome and I know a lot of people love the CZ Scorpion Evo so I'm excited to try it out so of course I'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up look at this thing like I said it is a nine millimeter obviously a very cool looking gun and it's got a few interesting features that I like I would say probably the coolest is the least useful but it's the HK slap that you can do on the charging handle so when it's locked back in this position right here you can just come down over the top and slap it home like an MP5, which again, isn't very useful, but it looks cool, which is what's most important. So it's got a folding stock, which is obviously really cool. You can fold it to store or maybe even shoot it that way. And then the magazine release is really growing on me. So there are other guns with mag releases like this, but I've never shot one. So you just push forward on the trigger guard there and it drops your magazine free. By the way, we have 20 and 25 round magazines. So they are YouTube compliant. And then the bolt release, is right here above the magwell. Actually for a lefty, a lot of these controls are really good. So you don't have to do the HK slap every time, but that's probably how I'll do it because it looks cooler. Let's shoot it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh sh I knew this would happen. Every year these evil snowmen come back. Damn it, I think they saw me. All right, here's what we're gonna do. They have a kill switch, I think in the middle, and if I can hit that, it should take care of them. I've only got like six rounds in this magazine. I'm gonna hit them in the head first so they can't see us, and then we'll try to hit that soft spot. Whew. Wish me luck. Thank God. So my heart is still racing. That was an extremely close call and I don't like doing stuff like that, but you know, it was either me or them and I did what I had to do. And you can see what's left of our three evil snowmen. And I know this is kind of graphic, I apologize, but I just wanted to show you guys what these things look like up close. So we've got some heads on the ground or what's left of their heads, I should say. And they look shockingly similar to watermelons. And then it looks like just the bottom third is really all that's left and then of course we've got the snowman blood that sprayed out all over the place when i did what i had to do so like i said if i wouldn't have spotted those things when i did it would have been bad a couple more seconds and they probably would have got to me all right first shots on the steel let's try this thing out what does suck as a lefty is i can't slap the charging handle home i have to put it in my right hand slap it and then go back left but <laughs> it's worth it all right steel targets Dude, I love these pistol caliber carbines. The recoil impulse is amazing. It's not like less than a 5.56, but it just feels different, if that makes sense, and definitely a lot quieter. Really nice. Let's pretend like I'm a tactical operator. All 
I need more rounds. I would do a blazing fast reload that would make your head spin, but I don't want to get his magazines muddy because it's not my gun. Let's see if we can finish off what's left of our evil snowman. Well, that didn't really work. I got an idea. This ought to work. Burn them out. I think one of our snowmen just farted. I'm gonna see if I can knock those flares off. Every one of them but the third one. <laughs> I'm gonna get that flare. Got him. So obviously if you're wanting to use a gun for self-defense, it probably has to run hollow points. So we're gonna try some cheap old Winchester white box hollow points and the CZ Scorpion. Let's see if they work. Perfect. Ran the hollow points, no problem. Man, I really like this trigger. I feel like if you practice with this thing, you could really get flying with it. I'm not trying to brag, but that was with my weak hand. Right, guys there you have it the cz scorpion evo nine millimeter carbine i obviously like it uh, i like it a lot actually i would definitely buy one if i could afford it right now i've been buying a lot of weird stuff like elephant guns and ammo uh, so i don't really have a ton of money to spare but i'll definitely get one of these one day and i know a lot of people love them i've been seeing them on youtube forever again they're not new guns they've been out for a while but from what i know they have a really good reputation they work really well they seem to be holding up you know long term so CZ Scorpion Evo, definitely a good gun, and I'm a fan. So again, I want to thank BFF for letting me borrow this thing to make the video. If you're around the area of Eastern Illinois, Western Indiana, go check them out. They're really good guys, and they've got some really cool stuff in there. If you guys like the video, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.